So in this video, we're going to be learning about a special feature in C called TypeDef. TypeDef allows you to define your own custom data types within C. So you may be familiar with the integer data type now, the char data type, etc. But we can create our own data type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a string data type. So uh, at the moment, if I say string test equals hello world, and I print f, uh, whoops, test, you'll see we'll get an error. So let's run this. So you can see I have an error. It says undeclared identifier string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare um, a type called string. So the way I do that is I say type def. This is another keyword in C. I say type def uh, char, and I put a, an asterisk here to make it a pointer. Uh, don't worry about this for now. We'll be getting on that in later videos. The reason we're not doing it like this, and then saying like 10, is because then that would make every one of our strings have to be, that would mean every one of our strings would be 10 bytes in size. And we don't want the, uh, every string to be the same size. We want to be able to have variable sized strings. So we create a pointer. Don't worry about pointers for now. We're going to be getting onto them in more videos soon. But uh, if we run this now, we should get uh, our string echoed out to us. So if we run this. As you can see, it compiles with no errors. And we run learn uh, the binary. And we hit enter. You can see we get a hello world echoed out to us. So what we've done is we've created our own type called string. So this means we can just create a string and say like we can in any other language. So I could say a string, say Francis equals echo.org. Let's just output this as well. And you can see now it says hello world echo.org. So that's it for this video, don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.